Hello and welcome to another video. This was a question that was sent in by Angelina X on my Discord, who asked, could you explain more about push D and pop D? And I figured, you know, that's pretty interesting and pretty useful. I will make it into a video. So here we are. Um, <clears throat> what push D and pop D are is they are special commands in shells that implement a stack of changed directories. And what they kind of let you do is enter a context, do some stuff there, and then exit that context to get back to an, uh, an, you know, a different place. So to demo this, I'm going to make a bunch of directories. So we're going to do make dir dash p foo bar bas, um, and maybe we'll also make a slash p slash c. And normally when I'm working on directories, I will cd into them, do some stuff, and then cd out of them. And so that might look like, you know, cd foo slash bar slash bas, and then, you know, touch foo. And then I'd have to cd dot dot slash dot dot slash dot dot slash. I think it's three. Um, but you know, remember, remembering exactly how many dots it is and this is, is a little bit tedious. So I'm going to show you push D and pop D. So what push D does, it's like CD, but, um, but it keeps track of kind of a stack of the places where you were before. So I can again do cd foo bar baz. And you can see that we have, you know, some thing here. Pushd also prints out the two directories as it's changing, so it it goes to this one, and this was the previous directory. Um, so you know we could touch wat now, uh, and say that I'm done here. Instead of having to remember these dot dot slashes, I can just do popd. And what the pushd popd thing will do is it will remember that stack, and it'll take me back to the place I was before. And you can actually make this go deeper as well. So if we did pushd, let's say we went into foo, did some stuff here, echo hi. Uh, to F, I don't know. And then we push D into bar. Maybe we need to do something in bar as well. Oh, it prints the full stack here. Oh, that's useful. Okay, so this is <laughs> this is the directory stack, I guess. And I guess it'll get longer as we do more. Um, so maybe, I don't know, touch two. And maybe we push D to baz again. And you can see this directory stack just keeps longer, getting longer and longer. Maybe we can do it even further. Temp explains A, B, C, touch D. Um, you can see that it's it just keeps building this up here. And then we can kind of pop back each of those stacks to get back into a different context. So we can do uh, pop D to get back to the previous place, and then pop D again, and then oh, pop D again, and then pop D again, and pop D again. Eventually you get back to just your original place. And if you pop D one more time, it'll tell you that the directory stack is empty. So. It allows you to kind of enter and leave context. I find this really, really useful in shell scripts where I have like, you know, some amount of work that I want to batch into one place in one directory. I'll push D into there, run a few shell commands, and then pop D out when I'm done. Uh, that way I don't have to, you know, manually keep track of what I need to CD there because uh, that can be a little bit error prone. But anyway, hopefully this was helpful. If you have additional things you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.